people seem to be enjoying my Stranger Things videos, so I figured maybe I'd make commentary videos for the shows that I actually watch. Anyway, I'm watching the first episode of Miss Marvel for the second time right now while I'm writing my YouTube video about it, and I thought I'd do some commentary for this one too. So yeah, this is season one, episode one of Miss Marvel. This intro at the beginning is actually really relatable for me as a small YouTuber. Also, I just noticed that that top comment is from her friend Bruno. Oof. Wait, she said her mother was a fantasizing unrealistic daydreamer. That's where the bracelet thing came from, right? I like the high school vibe that this show pulls off, a lot like how they do it in Spider-Man. Mr. Wilson's hilarious. <laughs> Lol. I love the dynamic between these two. I love the animations in the background. I feel like some of this is reminiscent of like Into the Spider-Verse, but celebrating fandom culture instead of like comics. This guy literally invented like an Alexa. I'm recording this for the internet. Oof. <laughs> This text conversation showing up in their surroundings is, is pretty cool. Those whole costumes are actually kind of fun. Although I do understand she spent a ton of time on her Captain Marvel costume, so yeah. Dang, I love Bruno. I love the dramatized version of this as she explains her plan as she imagined it. And then it's showing like the deviations from the plan on screen. This convention looks so fun. <laughs> well, nice costume, Bruno. Did no one just see her glow in the middle of a room full of people? <laughs> Literally everyone just thinks that was a trick, but Bruno looks really confused and concerned. A little taste of stretchy arm. Busted. Hey, it's that guy that was in No Way Home. So I really like Ms. Marvel so far. I feel like it was really made for MCU fans and I really like Kamala and Bruno. It's time to watch Ms. Marvel episode two. Her confidence has really skyrocketed. And of course, Zoe's getting all the attention. I love these two. <laughs> nice save, Bruno. If I became a superhero and had to train, this would totally be me. Good information to know, but what the heck is that app? Ouch. She really made a lot of progress. That slow motion shot of him coming out of the pool. <laughs> Lol. That was lucky. Bruno's so jealous. <laughs> Brian, ouch. That's gonna be hard to hide. <laughs> Nice excuse. It's cool to learn a bit more about Kamala's family history. Does that have something to do with Kamala's powers? So her nani knows more about the bangle, but she's not telling her, just tell her. Wait, when they said bring her in at the end of the last episode, they meant Zoe? Kid, do not lean out of the window like that. She got changed quick. Also, did she bring her costume with her? Nice catch. She's a poser like Black Widow. That didn't take long for them to find her. Who is that? What? I really like that episode, her exploring her powers. He, she needs to train a lot more though. Also, who the heck is Kamran's mom? I think it's about time for me to start posting on TikTok again. I'm gonna start with uh, finishing up my commentary on Miss Marvel and then I'm gonna start Umbrella Academy next week. Anyway, let's watch Miss Marvel season one, episode three. By the way, I have watched it before. This is like my second time watching this series, so. Wait, there's two bangles? And that is Aisha, her great-grandmother. Mom, stop embarrassing me. It's great to get lots of explanation at the beginning of this episode. <laughs> Great reaction. <laughs> and their average looking son. Hey, look, that's literally TikTok. Like, actually, literally, right there. Nokia's pretty awesome. She was so close to telling you. I think this is one of the most striking quotes from the whole show. That mask actually looks pretty nice. Katie, you're immortal. I think you can wait a couple of days. The whole wedding just looks like a blast. Oh, come on, it's gonna interrupt them. Rude. Poor Bruno. That'll work. I just realized that Bon Jovi's now playing after a Bon Jovi cover band was playing the wedding. Yeah, Bruno! Ouch. Oof. Oh, I hope Cameron's okay. He was really helping them out. They were able to detain them surprisingly easily. So she is finding out this episode after all. Good to see someone actually injured in one of these fights. Well, not good, but you get what I mean. Wait, what? Her grandma saw the train too? I like this episode a lot with learning a lot more about Kamala's powers and then like the standard, you know, Marvel fight at the end at the wedding. It was pretty good. Hi guys, it is time for Miss Marvel episode four. They're going to Karachi. She recognizes her from her vision, doesn't she? That is a good point. It is just genetics. So her nani does know that the bangle is associated with the trail of stars. Oh, that's a good idea. I mean, it's not the exact same station, but maybe the same train? <laughs> good luck finding it, though. Oh, no. Who is that guy? He's so dramatic. These two have some fun banter. <laughs> Figuring out what's going on. Also, this is the part that I mentioned in the Stranger Things video that reminds me of what was happening in Stranger Things too. <laughs> oh no, they broke out. Nice, that guy's pretty impressive. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no. They're cornered, but they're ready to fight. What the, they were in the middle of a big fight and now she's in front of a train? 
Where is she? Honestly, that's a great cliffhanger for the next episode. Anyway, yeah, this is one of my favorite episodes. It's really good. Lots of good action, actually finding out more about what's going on and everything, and it... It was good. Hi guys, it's time for Miss Marvel episode five. So is this whole episode gonna be a flashback about her great grandma? These two have such an adorable relationship. Oh, that was fast. Oh no, she found her. Well now she has even more reason to leave. She just stabbed her, rude. And here we're gonna be able to see how this scene actually played out. Wait, is Kamala like actually there? Not just like having a vision, but she showed up in the past, like time travel. And she was the one who created this trail of stars all along. Look at those stars. And a portal's opening? I don't think that turned out how you wanted it to. That was a sudden change of heart. Oh, and now he's got powers? And her mom found her and apparently now knows about her powers. Why does she look happy about it and not like mad or anything? So her symbol comes from a broken necklace. He wasn't calling him by the wrong name on purpose. Well, that's not good. That episode wasn't quite as action-packed, but it explained a lot, tied a lot of things together, and it was still definitely enjoyable. Hi guys, it's time to watch Miss Marvel episode six, the season finale. I love how she tells her family, but they have to act surprised because they already know because her mom told them. Her mom gave her the costume. I'm excited to see her wear it. And she looks awesome. I love it. I feel like they can't keep two super-powered people in the show, so about by the end, Kamran's either gonna die or he's gonna turn evil. Wait, when did she find out it was Kamala? This part is fun with all the different distractions. Look at that elephant toothpaste. What are you doing? There's a fight going on. Thank you for interrupting them, Bruno. This is it. This is his chance to go crazy. Oh, and now they're fighting. But she still saved him. Stretchy arms. Come on, what are you doing? Oh, looks like I was wrong. He's fine and not gonna die. I love how she gets her name at the end here. Was that just X-Men music? Are they making her a mutant instead of an inhuman? Captain Marvel? I didn't know she was gonna be in it. What just happened? Very good. This was definitely the best episode and I just really enjoyed the series as a whole.